Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.electroniclessons.com and www.engineeringshock.com. This video takes place directly after the Nintendo, the Nintendo Power in Your Nintendo video using your capacitor bank and your and my uh, Halloween costume uh, and capacitor bank video using the APR9600 demo board. Anyway, this video, uh, what I've got here is a solenoid being powered by a capacitor bank, 12 volt solenoid. Uh, it's I didn't re go re recharge after the Nintendo video and the APR9600 demo board video. So we started at about 11 volts. Uh, that's a high powered uh, solenoid right there, 12 volts. So as you can see, the power is slowly, dr slowly, slowly, slowly draining. I'm not it's not actually my smartest setup because uh, if that when the solenoid does fall, as you can see, it's being held up by its plunger, uh, and that's a good about a pound of uh, of uh, steel right there. Uh, so if that falls wrong, we're going to get a bit, a bit of a short, and we don't want that. But anyway, if you actually look down at the capacitors here, this is the these are the capacitors we sell uh, from the right. Uh, we got your 2.7400 ferry capacitor. That's our biggest one. It's actually the same size physically as the 200 uh, 200 farad 2.7 volt capacitor, which is to the left of it. To the left of that is the capacitor that I've been using for this bank, which is the 120 120 at 2.5 volt 120 farad at 2.5 volt capacitor. Below that, to the left of that is the 50 uh, 50 farad at 2.7 volt capacitor. To the left of that is the 20 farad at 2.7 volt capacitor. And to the left of that is the 5.5 at 1 farad capacitor. These things are monsters. These things are monsters. You guys have a look at my other YouTube videos that are popping up. I'm going to be putting up a ton of them. Because A, these things are like, they're better than batteries in the sense that they're good, they're, they're better for the environment. They can be charged thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times where batteries can't. They have very fast charge and if used safely, I mean, I can literally put my hand on those leads on the top of the capacitor bank. Nothing's going to happen because it's 12 volts and the resistance of my hand is huge. We're not talking AC here. However, you don't want to short the positive and the negative or you're going to get some nice sparks. It's got a very high discharge rate, meaning you can discharge relatively quickly, whereas a battery, well, I suppose a 12 volt battery would be pretty much the same deal. Uh, anyway, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask through eBay, YouTube. Uh, if you want to go to the eBay store and have a look at the prices, or if you want to work out a deal, go to www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, if you're a teacher or a student and you're looking for a bulk order for your class, uh, I keep in mind I also sell um, solar panels, mini solar panels. Great, you can interface these with the mini solar panels. Uh, if you ever, if you want to ask about series uh, and parallel capacitors, just ask. Uh, green energy guys, wave of the future. This is some awesome stuff. My multimeter just died. <laughs> so anyway, I'll end this video. Thanks for watching. Take a look at all my other super capacitor videos. Uh, I'll be showcasing off these uh, s these capacitors separately in the future. I've been concentrating a little bit on my bank right now. So thanks again. Appreciate it, and thanks for watching.